Hey, Steve Bazic Architect. Yeah. We're still out at our Build Show Build Boston site. Hopefully, last few days you watch the exterior. Let's uh, jump inside here and uh, just gonna close the garage. We'll take a quick peek of progress, what's going on in here. So, we still have to put our lift in here up to the storage loft but over here check this out we have all of our end phase batteries are in and our mini split because this is a conditioned space we got to keep the temperature up for these batteries it's a minimal but uh, still a requirement so have all of our batteries going in there and then our stairs up to the loft space. So let's uh, go inside and check it out. So. All right. Yeah, a little different. I can't see in the walls anymore. So. Take a hard left here through the mud room. Go into the plant room. See if we get a nice view of the pool there. Plant room's got a floor drain because the homeowner messing around with their plants. You can see we have a bunch of our doors here. These are a Brosco door. They are a square stuck one panel, single panel door. Um, obviously we're putting in our warm board radiant floor. We actually have some of it in um, the tubing in on the other side. And then underneath there we have a ceiling cassette for Mitsubishi. This room, just because of its orientation and what's happening, it has its own heating and cooling system. Um, and then as we go down the hall here, couple things. We have cavity sliders. Those are our um, pocket doors. I just want to get this set up so you'll see there's no slamming these. They're soft close. And get this set up here and you'll see as we push that there again it's a soft return into the cavity so our laundry room there not a whole lot to see but the drywallers have been busy you can see all of our drywall returns are in around the windows here jump to this side maybe you can see it a little better yeah so and then we're just doing a very simple five quarter sill there you can see our baseboard is in uh, probably can grab a piece on the other side but it basically has a little reveal but understand that that top piece is cut back about a quarter of an inch so when you look down at it directly you can see it's a little thinner on the top side there and of course all of our outlets in the house are inside the baseboard that was uh, desired by the homeowner and, uh, yeah. so you go into the main room here and see we just have a lot of guys have all their setups here but we have our large slider cabinets are well underway stop by the cabinet shop my way here. Let's uh, take a walk down here and see. Stairs are in here. So we have uh, some of the tiles going down. We have some of the hardwood floor is going to start going down Monday. So we have our radiant 
cooler. Let me go back on this side and look back and it'll be a little easier to explain because everybody that walks through here, they always comment about, wow, why is this one big open room? Well, it's actually not. There's actually a glass enclosure that's gonna be right here and goes right around to the inside. So I'm standing in the office and the glass enclosure will be the difference between the office and the hallway. That's right there. And then we have a pocket door there that you can close off the public bedrooms. And then we have a back door here. And uh, you can sneak through back to the uh, primary bedroom. Back there, front bedroom. Not a whole lot going on. Tile guy's all set up, but yeah, we have a whole bunch of uh, tile work going on in here. So this whole back wall is going to be tile. And then you can see here, our floor tile is all in. Just a simple stacked pattern there. And here, I'll show you this here. So one, you can see here, a bunch of the radiant tube has been installed. Um, for those of you not familiar with warm board, go check them out. Um, haven't installed a warm board system yet that someone's complained about. They love them, absolutely love them. And then here's all of our hardwood floor. So this is a company, um, let me turn it around here. It's Mafi.com. This is a, uh, I believe it's an Austrian white oak and it's an engineered wood floor. Um, you can see here, this is already pre-finished. It has a matte finish. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff. I love it. Um, I love the matte finish. And then if I lift this up, you can see it has a good eighth of an inch top and bottom. Um, so talking to the flooring guy, he said, you know, that's got um, at least a couple sandings in it. So we have all of our baseboard in here and continue down here. So we breached into, so everything we see now is the owner's suite. So we got a bunch more of that hardwood floor. It's all in here, trying to acclimate to the current temperatures. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you here, one of my favorite details. So this is a bifold or two double door to the closet, but the thing about this double door to the closet, I hate walking down a hall and seeing the ends of it. So it's easier to probably see down here. So I put a little jog in the wall and that's intentional. And you can see the door there. And the reason for that is when the door swings open and parks, it actually has a parking space inside the wall. So I'm not walking down the hallway here and I'll give you a, that perspective. When I walk down the hall, I'm not seeing the edge of the door. I'm literally walking by the door. And you can see that's repeated in the bump out there, how the door sits inside of it. So there's our closet. The high closet is literally where this pile of wood is, is we have a uh, peninsula that's going to go in the closet and then Closet shelving and such on the left, and closet shelving and such on the right. So, and coming out here, this is our single slope, mono slope ceiling. I'm gonna come over to the back side here because that is the window out of the primary bedroom. It's uh, it's about nine foot square to put it in perspective. And then we'll have some built-in cabinetry underneath it. And then of course, all of our warm board radiant floor heating system 
is all in. And then into the primary bedroom, bathroom. So we have Lamatech. This is their slip sheet that goes under. It's all porcelainosa system. Tile guys have been working hard here. We're gonna have a whole wall of tile on, uh, on this side. And then we have wall mounted vanities that go there. And of course there. We have our shower here and uh, get that all waterproofed. And our toilet in the corner here. So we noticed earlier, uh, they actually covered over. We have an outlet back there for a uh, washlet and heated toilet seat which have become pretty much standard in most of the stuff we do. So, And uh, of course, from the bathroom, you get a nice uh, view out and uh, you can see what's happening poolside. So go over here and we'll close out that video. So, yeah, there you have it folks. Um, Steve Basic Architect, we're out here at our Build Show Build Boston site. Until next time, long live our buildings.